Um, I've seen a solution method here that kind of creates an inequality, a bounds between like looking at 10 to the 4 and 10 to the 5 and things like that to, for what this must be in between. But personally, I just think let's just square the possible answers until we get the thing inside the square root. We're not going to be expected to actually work out the square root. So let's start with the, the smallest one, 111 squared and just times it. Okay, because this is actually quite quick to multiply because we're just going to get, I'm just going to use the column method, we're going to get 111, put a zero in, two zeros, okay, we can add it up pretty quick. We see this has five digits, it's way too small, but it kind of gives us a bit of an idea, um, you know, what it might be. So if I, if I do 100, uh, well, sorry, 1011 squared, I'm gonna, definitely going to get another two digits, uh, that's still only, that's seven digits, whereas here I've got nine. So I'm kind of guessing it might be C here, and I'm going to jump straight to that. I'm actually going to multiply it out, because it's nice to just check that it definitely works. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time. Let's keep track of what we've, which ones we've used. Main thing is just making sure your place value is sorted. Okay, and the last one. Okay, and there we have it. So the answer must be C.